problem. He faced that problem. He faced that work actually. Very real. One one week back, okay. Uh, one week back, I think. One week or whatever. Whenever last working day, na that time we discussed day before yesterday. So very small topic, but very very important and interesting topic. Okay. Uh, note it down. Note it down, guys. Master data extend one company code to another company code. Put the heading master data extend bracket GL vendor and, and customer. In the bracket GL vendor and customer. Extend one company code to another company code. It's a very small topic, but very important topic. Very small topic and very important topic. Real time, very useful topic. In the real time, very useful work. This is the real time work actually. So, lot many times we do. Even I said now, last uh, day before yesterday, one student also called me, sir, how to do this? So, it's a very important action. Okay. So, very important, guys. And uh, so please, huh? please uh, careful, please take care. <coughs> please careful and please take care. Guys, I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing, very, very important thing. I will, I will tell you one thing. <coughs> I have, everyone, please concentrate here. I can open new Excel. I can open new Excel. Everyone, very important one. Very important one. Everyone, concentrate here. I have two company codes. Example, I taken two company codes. Example, I have two company codes. Company code here, DM10. This is my company code and DM20. DM20. Everyone, I have two company codes. Company code DM10 and DM20. In the DM10, I have the GLs. Example in the DM10, I have the GLs. Lot of GLs, rent account, cash account, commission paid account, like uh, building account, whatever, furniture account, whatever. In this company code DM10, I have the GLs. Same GLs, I want DM20 also. So, in case if you want to use the LSMW, you can use it. But, there is a one option. There is a one option to extend master data one company code to another company code. We want to extend master data one company code to another company. Whatever GLs available on DM10 company codes, I want to extend these GLs one company code to another company code. One company code to another company. I want to move these GLs DM10 to DM20. This is my target. Otherwise, I have vendor. I have vendors. Vendors. All the vendors available on DM10 company code. So, these vendors I want to extend one company code to another company code. One company code to another company code. And I have the customer also. Customers also. Customers also. I have to extend one company code to another company code. Then, how you can extend? How you can extend? What is the process? What is the process? Okay. So, this is my, today, this is my target, guys. Today, this is my target. I want to extend the data. I want to extend the master data. One company code to another company code. Why? Because I want to save the time. Why? For already data is available on DM10. Already data available on DM10. 
Why again I want to create a DM20? I can extend this master data DM10 to DM20. The example I taken one company code. You can extend multiple company codes. You can extend multiple company codes. Okay. So for this purpose, what you have to do? Example, guys. I will show you. I will show you example. I will show you one thing. Uh, and after that, I will explain. Example. Check. Check tables. T a b l e. Check the tables or table or tables whatever. What table for for GL? What is the table? Example S K B one. For GL S K B one. Where I want to check the table S C sixteen N. So here I want to check the table. You can check both company codes. Both company codes. Everyone. You can check both company codes DM one zero and DM two zero. Both company codes you can check. Let check the tables. Let check the tables. Everyone, very important. Ah, huh? very important. <coughs> Everyone, concentrate here. Go to SC sixteen N. Go to SC sixteen N. Press enter button in the keyboard. And example, uh, the table name is called SKB1. Press enter. And the company code is called DM10. And click on here execute. So this is the table, and this is the company code. So I taken two company codes as an example. So whatever GLs available on this DM10, I want to export. One company code to another company code. One company code to multiple company codes. As you wish. Example, I will show you. For example, so come to AC sixteen N, AC sixteen N, and give it your company code. Then click on your execute. So this is the GLC is available. This is the GLC. This is the GLs are available on this company code. This is the company code, and this is the GL, and this is the different different objectives parameters. Let's copy this. Let's copy this. Let's copy this, and this is the GLs. Copy this, and the company code is DM one zero. So this is the GLs, guys. This is the GLs. GL number and company code. GL number and the company code. This is the company code. This is the GL number. This is the GL number. So this is the GLs. I want to export DM one zero to DM two zero. Let's check the DM two zero again. Go back, everyone. Everyone. Now I am in DM one zero. Go back. Now I am checking DM two zero. DM two zero. Then click on here execute. DM two zero. Click on here execute. See here in the DM two zero only three GLs are available. But DM10, lot of GLs is there. Lot of GLs is there. Currently, present only three GLs are available in DM20. So, what is my my job now? What is my job now? What is my job? I want to export whatever GLs available on DM10. So, all the GLs I want to export or I want to extend. Export or extend whatever you want. I want to extend the data one company code to another company code. How to extend? Everyone. So this is the target. This is my target. I want to extend one company code to another company code. Now time to ask the doubts. Everyone. Anyone? Any doubts?
No, na? Yeah. <clears throat> Sir, only extend the GL or uh, including balances? Only master data, okay. not balances. Balances is the transaction data. Now I'm discussing master data. Master data is different. Transaction data is different. It's Everyone, now example to extend extend GLs, extend GLs, T code is called FS15. FS15. Okay. Now uh, again, again check the tables. After extend, once again you can check the tables. Once again, you can check the tables if you want. Whatever data is available, whatever data is not available. And one more thing is called, one more thing is called, for example, uh, extend vendors. Extend vendors. FK. 15 and the extend customers and customers FD 15 this is the FD 15 ah, guys can you please note it down this first you can note it down GL for our target then later you can give some gap and note it down this also Please note it down. Brinkard. Uh, tell me more. Uh, for extend vendors, FK15 or KF15? Oh, sorry. Yeah, FK15, sorry. Not okay, KF15. Okay. Thank you. FK15. Everyone, uh, who is this one plus? Who is this one plus? Some jo please join your names. Huh? Who is one plus, guys? Please rename it. Uh, K Muni Pratap Kumar. So, sorry? K Pratap. Uh, Pratap, can you please rename it? Please? Okay. Uh, here better you can add one more uh, sorry you can add one more t code you want to add actually uh, check background job overview sm sm 37 I think. You can, sorry guys, you can add this one also. Check job overview. So same process, whatever process I am following this GLs, same process for the vendors also, same process for the customers also. Okay. But GLs, we are the responsible. Maybe sometimes vendor and customer take care by the MM and SD people. Okay. Same process for all, but whatever job you are assigned. Huh? Same. Done, everyone. Noted. Can I go ahead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Noted, sir. <clears throat> everyone. So yes, this sir. one is Got done. It. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So this one is done. Now I want to extend the data. So this is the GL. So I want to extend. One company code to another company code. One company code to another company code. Okay. One company code to another company code. How you can extend? Very easy, yeah? Very easy process, actually. Very easy process. Only one uh, <coughs> one uh, T code will execution. Okay. So everyone, let's go to FS15. Go to FS15. FS15, press enter. Then, as usual, everyone, let's. Can anyone read the heading? 
copy general ledger copy. account master data sent master data sent means we want to send the general ledger master data example guys guys concentrate here this is the source company code here source company code and source gls and this is the target company codes target company code my source is my source is this is the one what is my source my source is dm10 my target is dm20 maybe target may have many company codes sometimes one company code to many company codes no problem no problem you can you in case this is my source and this is my target whatever data available on dm10 i want to move or export or whatever extend or copy send whatever word you read it you can so we want to do extend like uh, this one to this one this is my source and this is my target this is my source and this is my target how to do that everyone <coughs> so come to fs15 come to fs15 so my source company code is called source company code is called dm 10 and my source gls my source gls is called what is this this is the gls and this is the gls and this is the company code and uh, let's take one and click on your more click on your multi selections okay <clears throat> so click on your structure relation and click on your more here you can give any name huh? dm20 and more target company code of click on your more everyone i can give one second click on your more and copy the gls all the gls you can copy all the gls you can copy here and control c copy and go to sap here click on your clipboards click on your clipboards here here clipboards upload from clipboards all are welcome all the gls will come okay then copy and okay everyone let's concentrate here everyone here you can enter the gls even multi gls also all the gl list of the gls all will come how many gls has came 61 gls has came okay and the 61 gls gls and company code and click on here transfer master data everyone concentrate here here you want to click on transfer master data one company code to another company codes and in case if you want to transfer blocking indicator in case if you want you can select even you can transfer deletion flag in case if you want to select if you want based on the client requirement and that company code i block the gls but this company code i don't want to block the gls some gls is there na some gls dm10 block the some gls are blocked but dm20 i don't want to block then you don't select this you don't select this no i whatever gls i block there same gls i want to block here also here in the dm20 also i want to block so select this two to like two radio buttons okay and for as your wish based on the client requirement then example target company codes dm20 sir this gls i want to export i want to extend i want to send whatever word you can i want to send multiple company codes my tar my target company codes is multiple so click on your more click on your more if you want then give it your all the company codes that gls export how many company codes give it here all the list of company codes for the practicing purpose i gave only one company code and update the file immediately update the file immediately 
so now here batch input session so here you can set up any name it may be numerical or it may be alphabets even there is a standard name will come in case if you want to keep you can keep it so here you named as a any name and here structure from release so this is the standard actually this is the standard okay so this is the screen guys this is our target okay from this is the source company code target company code and this is the like uh, gls this is the gls we are exporting so what can i do guys what can i do now everyone better don't click on export don't click on your execute better you can execute in the background so real time we will execute background in this screen okay go to program go to program execute in the background execute in the background simply click on your execute in the background and okay immediately i want to execute i mean immediately i want to send copy and save that's it that's it so one background job was scheduled this is the name background job name whatever name you are maintaining to this field na that name based on that name one job background job was scheduled background job was scheduled okay so now how to check this background job how to check this background job what is the t code sm37 last class we discussed na background job display background job what is mean by background jobs okay this is the one check background job sm37 this is the one otherwise simply do one thing otherwise simply do one thing guys simply do one thing um everyone concentrate here go to systems services job and job overview you come like this also otherwise directly you can go to sm37 otherwise simply how you can come how to check the job overview systems services job and job overview job and job over and simply click on your execute simply click on your execute simply click on it and come down there is a lot of jobs will update automatically come down come down 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 paste down paste down 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 so this is the one right this is the one now it's an active mode actually so better refresh it must be finished mode yeah now it's done it must be finished modes finished and green if it is active mode better refresh it here refresh it's going to update refresh it finish it means it's done successfully done there is no any other issues so what is the t code here showing sm37 i came at sm37 actually screen came from i mean came sm37 okay this is the one now guys i want to check that gls are exported or not that gls are updated specific company code or not i want to check where is that uh, i mean i want to check again table level you can check again table level that gls are updated or not that gls are updated or not i want to check the table let's go to check the tables go to sc16n press enter and give it your table name skb1 and uh, give it your company code dm10 then execute this is the gls actually click on your execute so this is the gls i exported what is the company code dm10 and let's go back give it your dm20 20 so last time when i checked the first time how many gls is there guys before exporting 
ट्रांसफर वेंडर मास्टर डेटा फ्रॉम सोर्स कंपनी कोड सेंड सेंड सो गाइस This is the source company code. This is the source company code, and this is the source. Vend- I mean, like uh, vendors, and this is the target company code. This is the target company code. Then go back. Like, what is the customers T code? Anyone? F uh, F D fifteen. F D F D fifteen. Press enter. Anyone? Can you read the heading? Transfer customer master data from source company code send. So this is the source. Here you can give the source company code and the customers, and here you can give the target company code. Okay. So same process for all. Same process for vendors and customers also. Uh, now uh, time to ask the doubts. Anyone any doubts? Now you can unmute and speak. Sir, good day. Good day, sir. Chappan. Sir, if you have already existing GLs in DM two zero, like uh, uh, expenses pro incomes, uh, that won't uh, that if won't I, won't copy. Okay, can it it merge or copy, sir? So means, uh, it won't come duplicate. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Ramesh. Uh, uh, tell me, Ramesh. Yes, sir, Ramesh, sir. Yeah, actually, I have a one uh, source de- uh, source company code, but I have a couple of uh, target company code. Why can I? Uh, why can I? Uh, like, actually... I what you are hearing, sir? I already tell you, na FS fifteen. I already tell you, na same thing here. Target multiple. Mm, okay. I shown, sir. I shown already. Yeah, you sure. can watch video again, na after the class. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. उटमे Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So thanks, Hi, sir. Ah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Hi, sir. This is Sanjay. I have a one doubt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sanjay, sir. I'm exporting the data just like DM one zero to DM two zero. Mm-hmm. Then on that, both the company code have a like a same account group and same number ranges. Yes. Then yes. it can possible. Okay. Yes, same number will going to export. See what happened. No, no, no. Huh. Um, just my question is that it's like a GL account. 
like current assets and liabilities, then just hmm. number ranges in between. Hmm. That number ranges, it's the same need yes. like in a, a source company code and a yes. target company code? Yes, okay. it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Then we can't move like only one like a number range is all. Yes. We can't edit anything else. Oh, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, I have one doubt. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, please. Can it possible to delete company code? No. <laughs> no. No, we want to delete. We don't want to delete. Deletion is not acceptable in SAP. Thanks everyone. Uh, so uh, basically this is a small topic actually. So tomorrow we will discuss very important topic and it's a lengthy topic. We will meet tomorrow. Okay. Sir, can I ask one question for uh, yes. LSMW? Okay. Yes. LSMW. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. You can watch video one second and you can reach out me. I was, uh, sir, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. For, uh, for example, I copy vendor account. There is one field check double invoice, right, sir? So how, how can I capture in this Excel sheet or text sheet? Huh, you want to prepare? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I am. I used my Excel, but you have to prepare the Excel actually. I prepared, sir. I prepared. Hmm. But this field in SAP asking tick mark, right, sir? Which, but which in, field? When I make this double, double check invoice, double check invoice. Where is double check invoice field? You can check this FK01. Where? When I creating when vendor. When creating master. When we create the vendor master data, no? so there is a one in the, at the time of payment transactions. No, be, no, 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 see. Also, also vendor creation time, it is, it is there. Ah, yeah, this is the vendor tab. Yes, please enter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> enter. <coughs> Next step. See, I will tell you one thing. Yes, sir. So in this field, not required to select all the. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever you yes. required, you can select. Right, sir. Right, right, right. Got it, my point? Yes, sir. Next. And. Uh, What? Where? This one, sir. This is uh, down from tolerance group. Down from this is, there is tolerance group down. There, there is a tolerance, tolerance group. group uh -huh. no? uh -huh. So yes, what, yes, what is this? What you want here? I want to check this one. Tick mark. Uh -huh. You can give star. Star mark. A star. Okay. Uh, okay. If you want to check means you can give the star. Because I take tick mark. This not uh -huh. capturing uh -huh. lesson. Okay. If you want to highlight, you can give the star. <laughs> then it will go into stick. Okay, sir. You remove okay. the star, so it, it is unchecked. Right, sir. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Yeah.